Welcome to Tillman's Ministries, a place where healing, restoration is flowing. We thank you for joining us today, and we hope that something on this broadcast will change your life. And we pray that God meet you in every situation that you are facing and he bring you out. So without further ado, here is Minister Tillman. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Minister Tillman coming to you live in the studio uh, this evening. Uh, we're excited to be back in the studio. Uh, before we get started, we want to open up with the word of prayer. Amen. God, we just come humbly before you, God, yes. saying thank you, God, thank once again, God, for bringing us to this powerful radio station, God, for such a time as this. God, we want you to touch us, God, touch our hearts and our minds and our lips, yes. God, that we can say something, God, to edify, to glorify, to encourage, to lift up. Yes. We come to lift thank up you, the Father. name of Jesus today, to mm -hmm. honor him, thank to glorify you. him. Amen. To exalt him above all things. He is worthy to be praised today. God, we thank you, God, for what you're going to do through these airways. God, going through, touching lives, God, changing minds and changing hearts, God, today. We thank you, God. We give you praise and glory in that band. And we thank you, God, for what you're doing right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we carefully honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> We're going to conclude this theme. <clears throat> oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. I'm going to go to the scriptures. Uh, most of mine have been coming out of the book of Psalms. But this one, uh, Psalms 100, uh, starting at verse number 1. It said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Amen. Not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is is everlasting, and his truth endured to all generations. Amen. When I, when I started looking at this, the first thing it said, make a joyful noise. Make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When you begin to thank God, <laughs> praise and thanksgiving go hand in hand. When you begin to thank God, and praise is going to come out. You're yeah. going to start making some noise. And yeah. that's what these uh, are talking about. Make some noise when you get excited <clears throat> about what God has done for you. Amen. He brought you out. He healed your body. He set you free. You're going to make some noise. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. And we are so thankful <clears throat> uh, for what God has done. Amen. If I just think about the goodness. Amen. And all that he has done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You cannot uh, be quiet when you begin to thank God or, or praise God. Something's got to happen. Yeah. The power of God is going to come into place. The Holy Ghost is going to show up and show out. Yes. This is the time to be thankful. If you just stop and, and start writing things down that God has done for you, Amen. You can probably fill up the whole sheet of paper. Yeah. Uh, I did it the other day, and I got to thanking God for uh, my wife. Amen. I got to thanking God for my children. I got to thanking God for waking me up this morning. He yeah. started me on my way. Amen. My blood is running warm in my veins today. And I thank God for that. I thank God for the blood. Yeah. I thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on Calvary. Amen. They pierced him in the side. Blood and water came gushing out. Amen. Yeah. If it had yeah. not been for blood, amen, for the re it's for the remission of sin. And they whipped yeah. his back, yeah. amen, and blood came out for the healing of the nation. Yes. I thank God for the thank blood. I plead the blood today. Somebody needs the blood to cover them. Yes. I'm going to put it on my door post. I'm going to put yes. it on my car. I'm going to put it all around me so the blood 
has yeah. never lost its power. Amen. The blood is good. It's still working today. Yeah. If you need the blood, just plead the blood over your situation. Yeah. Things are going to begin to happen. Things are going to begin to change. <laughs> plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And things are going Amen. to happen Amen. in your life today. Amen. Somebody's out there needs a healing. Somebody out there needs to be saved. Somebody needs to be delivered. Yes. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your situation, yes. over your Thank problem you. today. God is an awesome God. Yes. He is good. And his mercy endures forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go uh, to a song in a commercial. And then we're going to be right back. Amen. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you had an accident, what do you do next? Showtime Auto Center, 209 East Johnson Avenue, Inslee, Pensacola, Florida, is a certified body shop collision center serving Pensacola, Florida and the surrounding area with affordable prices and friendly service to every customer. Showtime Auto Center provides auto body repair, collision repair, auto paint, bumper repair, detail shop. They also sell cars. They also fix cars. That's Showtime Auto Center, 209 East Johnson Avenue. Call at 850-454-5926. 850-454-5926. Showtime Auto Center. Excited to be back in the studio. Uh, I, I got to thanking God the other day for some things. Uh, I thank God for his word. I thank God for his truth. Amen. His word yeah. is going to go forth and not return void. His word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. The word of God is powerful. It's quick. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing Getting in there, dividing things. It's nothing like the word of God. I thank God for the name of Jesus. Yes. Salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Healing in the yes. name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for the name of Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Every knee shall bow. Yeah. At the name of Jesus. Amen. Demons flee at the sound, at the whisper of that name. Yeah. They start running because the name of Jesus has power in it. Uh, when you're in trouble a lot of times, all you have to do is whisper the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he is coming. His ear is not heavy that he can't hear. His arm is not sharp that he can't reach and touch you. Yes. All you have to do is whisper the name of Jesus in Amen. your situation. Amen. And things will begin to change for you. Yes. Try Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I love the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We, we're going to have to stop here. We're going to go back to the uh, song and the commercial. We're going to come right back with our speaker in Jesus' name. Amen. Showtime Auto Center, located at 209 East Johnson Avenue, Pensacola, Florida, stands ready to service your vehicle and offer to you some of the best services in Pensacola. They have a paint and body shop. If you need paint and body work, they do all types of body work. They do frame repairs. They also uh, do special paint jobs for dealers, and also they do candy paint jobs and custom painting as well. If you're in search of a pre-owned, reliable vehicle, you can get it at Showtime Auto Center. Center. They are ranging from $1,500 to $5,000, and they have dealer financing for their pre-owned vehicles ranging from $1,500 to $5,000. If they don't have it on the lot, hey, they can get it for you. Also, if you need detailing for your vehicle, they can wash, wax, and buff your vehicle, and they also provide full detailing packages. If you need work on your vehicle, mechanic work, they can do that as well from engine exchange, tune-up, brake jobs, and much more. Call them today at 850-454-5926. Amen. <clears throat> Excited to be back in the studio. Without further ado, I have in the studio with me, my brother-in-law, Elder Robert Fountain is here, and I know he's got a word. Uh, we want him to come at this time to deliver to Pensacola and the surrounding areas. In Jesus' name, Elder Robert Fountain. Amen. I'd like to give Minister Tillman this opportunity, for giving me this opportunity to to have this opportunity to share the word of God with you this day. Amen. And you know, this day and this time that we're living in is so exciting this time of the year. <clears throat> you know, as we get ready to celebrate this Thanksgiving season. Yes. And you, we know that every day is Thanksgiving for the for the child of God. But as you enter Thanksgiving, I think you need to enter Thanksgiving with a thankful heart. Yes. And Minister Tillman read this here in Psalm 100, but I'm going to start out in verse 4 and read verse 4 and 5. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yes. For the Lord is good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. Yes. You know, it's a way of acknowledging Humble dependence on one greater than ourselves. You know, the one from whom all blessings flow. Amen. Yes. Keep in mind that God does not lack anything. God receives your thanks as an offering. And at the same time, doing so, deepen your awareness and your appreciation of his blessing. Amen. Yes. And so, Hallelujah. our theme this month. Thanks be unto God. Yes. What a wonderful thing. You know, Psalm 92 verse 1 read, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praise unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy lovely kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Amen. You know, you need to give God thanks for who he is in your life. You need to give God thanks today. You know, if we rise up in the morning, we should be thanking him. You know, if we lay down at night, we should be thanking him. Right. You know, one of the things that I started doing, I started not only thanking God, at, you know, during the nighttime, but I also thank God, you know, I say, Lord, good night. All right. You know, thank you. And then when I get up in the morning, I say, good morning, my father. All right. See, you're making it personal when you begin to do that. See, there is untapped power in praise and thanksgiving that belongs to you. This thanksgiving serve up a hearty portion of praise and thanksgiving to God. As Christians, we are called to unleash the power of praise and thanksgiving every day of the year. You may ask, what power? The power to defeat the devil and unlock victory in your life, All right. your finances, your family. Your employment, your business, the power of praise and thanksgiving will supernaturally supply all your needs. Amen. Right. Healing and deliverance. Right. 
You know, whatever your need, begin to thank the Lord and watch what happens. All right. His miracle working <laughs> power will be unleashed on your behalf today. Amen. Yes. I'm not talking about tomorrow. I'm talking about today. today. God's power is available to you today. As you begin to worship him, as you begin to thank him, as you begin to give him praise and honor and glory, that power will be released unto you today. It will be unleashed unto you today that it will bring forth changes in your life, your family life. Amen. Amen. But the greater gift of all is Christ himself. Therefore, we should join with the Apostle Paul as he stated in 2 Corinthians 9, 15. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. You know, the value of this gift is beyond language to describe. Right. Unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Just think about it. The greatest gift that ever was given to mankind. The greatest gift. There's no gift greater than the one that God gave, amen, his only begotten son. See, we are so blessed in the United States of America to have Thanksgiving Day as a national holiday, to thank God and honor him for all he has given us. It is a time to stop the hustle and bustle and busyness of life, to be grateful for our freedom, family, friends, and an abundant life. What most people do not realize is that a thankful and grateful heart isn't just a nice experience to have or a desirable attitude. There is spiritual power in praise and thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. As, Christ, I mean, as Christians, we should always be looking to honor God. How can we seek to honor God this Thanksgiving day? All right. One way is by giving him thanks. For all we have, as we approach our Thanksgiving holiday, there are ways that will help you honor God during this special time of celebration in our nation. Forgive anyone, everyone, this Thanksgiving season. But God has called you to forgive anyone and everyone who have ever done you wrong. Right. Amen. It's for your benefit. Honor him this Thanksgiving day by obeying him. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 4.32 read, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. I remember when I was working for this corporation, and even with the, with the state of Florida, I had people who said things about me that wasn't true. I had people who done things to me that wasn't right. All right. And you know, it's so easy that you can get bitterness in your heart towards those people. But one of the things the Lord reminded me of, he said, let me fight your battle. All right. I had to put those individuals in, that, in his hand. I had to continue to respect them. I had to continue to love them. I had to be, you know, I had to continue to be kind towards them. Because I know if bitterness get in my heart, it can stop the flow of God blessings in my life. All right. As well as your life. So we had to begin to forgive those who have done us wrong. Amen. Amen. You know, spend time praising him. God is worthy of our praise. But did you know praise and thanksgiving release spiritual power? Did you know that? Some of the greatest miracles in the Bible occur in response to praise and worship and thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You know, take some time simply to praise him. Giving thanks unto his name. Right. Every day, amen. Yes. Point one, praise and thanksgiving balance the scales in your life. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 6 reads, Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Right. You know the Philippians 4, 6 say, we are to present our request to God by prayer and petition. And with thanksgiving. See, see quite often we get 
too wrapped up in our needs and our desires. We want and what we need. But you know what? It's nothing wrong with asking God to help you. But praise and thanksgiving balance the scales in our prayer life and can make the difference between receiving and answering your prayer. Amen. Amen. I remember Brother Hagen one time was talking about this missionary who had attracted smallpox before they came up with a vaccine. And as he was talking about this missionary, as she began, she was praying and praying and praying concerning her situation. And as she began to pray one time, the Lord began to reveal to her in a vision that her prayers was stacked up high. But her praise and thanksgiving to him was very low. That stack was so small. As he said, if you began to worship me, if you began to praise me, okay. if you began to thank me yes. for your healing, Hallelujah. you will be healed. And so she took the time for several days and she didn't do anything but thank him for her healing, to praise him and to worship him for something he has already done. But as she began to praise and thank him, manifestations of her healing became more and more into existence. All right. So I'm telling you today, begin to worship the one that can heal you. Begin to worship the one that can save you. Begin to give him praise and give him thanks today. Do your prayer, do your praise and your thanksgiving equal your prayer? Is your scales balanced today? As you begin to thank God, as you begin to praise God and give him glory and to give him honor today. Amen. I want to point to prayer. Let me say it like this. Praise and thanksgiving will neutralize the devil in your life. I'm going to say it again. Praise and thanksgiving will neutralize the devil in your life. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 read, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Have you ever wondered why the devil tries so hard to get you to complain? To get you to gripe? Right. Because he knows it will keep you wandering around in the wilderness of life. Instead of you arriving in the promised land that God has promised you, you will salt, I mean, short circuit your blessings. More importantly, he does not want you to know that praise and thanksgiving to God will neutralize that devil and the forces of hell in your life. Amen. All right. Let me read... Uh, this particular passage of scripture in Psalm 9 verse 1 through 4 the New International Version I will give thanks to you Lord with all my heart I will tell of all your wonderful deeds I will be glad and rejoice in you I will sing the praises of your name O Most High my enemy turned back they stumble and perish before you for you have upheld my right and my cause, sitting enthroned as the righteous judge. I'm gonna give you an example of that in Second Chronicle, verse, I mean chapter 20. A multitude of forces are marching against Israel, leaving the army of Israel so outnumbered they literally did not know what to do. So they fast and pray until they receive a word from God. And that word came forth. Be not afraid or dismayed right. at the great multitude. For the battle is not yours but God. Judas appointed singers and praises and sent them out in the front of the army of Israel. Don't you know as they began to praise and worship God. They were so outnumbered by this vast military that was coming against them. But God told them not to be afraid. In other words, God was saying, don't look at your enemy. Don't look how big he is. All right. But look at me. 
Because this battle is not yours, but it's mine. And God began to set up ambushments against that enemy All right. and defeated him. Israel didn't even have to fight that war. They didn't have to fight that battle. But God began to defeat their enemies and destroy them. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I'll tell you, when you begin to praise your way, you know you can praise your way into healing. Right. You can praise your way into a financial breakthrough. Amen. You can praise your way out of trouble. Yes. Praise and thanksgiving will bring forth victory in your life. See, as you give God thanks, we are to be thankful for what God has given us. Mm -hmm. We are to be thankful for what God has done. We are to be thankful for who God is. All right. I remember when Dr. E.B. Hill was a, a child, he said at times they did not have any food to eat. But his mother would set the table and everybody would gather around the table. And they will begin to thank God and to worship Him and praise God for the food that they were about to eat. He said they didn't have any food in the house. But he said he was just looking around. His mom was just thanking God and praising God. And all of a sudden, a knock came to the door. And when they went to the porch, the porch was full of food. All right. See, that's the kind of God we serve. God don't want you to go hungry today. Amen. God want to meet your needs today. But you know what? Today is the day of salvation for you. Every boy, every girl, every man, every woman that is separated from Christ today. The day is your day. Amen. Yes. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can know him today personally. Because he want to come into your heart today. He want to change your situation. He want to change your circumstances. He want to bring the benefits of heaven to you today. Amen. Amen. So will you pray this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, repent I repent of my sin. Come into my heart. Wash me clean. I make you my Lord and my Savior. If you pray that prayer today, God has written your name in the book of life. Amen. You are now a citizen of his kingdom. God's going to take care of you. He want to take care of your family. He want to fulfill the purpose and the plan that he predestined for your life. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. We just want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And we pray that your Thanksgiving will be a blessing to you and your family. And we just thank God that his grace will be upon you today. And that every need will be met. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Children ministry, we want to thank you today. And then go minister with children. Amen. Praise God. I thank uh, Elder Robert for those powerful words of encouragement. We just want everybody to be blessed today. Amen. And uh, God's going to come into your household and touch those that desire to be healed, delivered, and set free. But we want to take a time to talk about the Tillman Ministry. Uh, if you missed any episode, just go to the Tillman Ministry, stroll through it, and uh, just pick out which one you want to listen to, and you and your family is going to be blessed. We also want to talk about our church. I'm so excited about our church. Uh, 1030. Amen. Pastor Tyler Burns is going to be bringing the word. 1580 Savannah Street. Amen. If you don't have a church to go to, 1030 is the place to be. 1580s of Vanity. Amen. All nations is going to be bringing forth a powerful word this Sunday. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to the Tillman's Ministries today. Our prayer is we hope that something that we have said, something that God has put in our heart, help you get out of every situation that you might be facing. God bless you. We look forward to coming back on this powerful radio station. Pray for us as we pray for you. And God bless you. And we love you much coming from the Tillman's Ministries.